Well, today is the day of the alert. And I have to ask myself, how are people feeling today? How many of you have switched off your phones? How many of you have put it on air on airplane mode? How many of you have wrapped it up and stuck it in some corner somewhere? How many of you have switched it off? How many of you are just allowing it to remain how it is and just to see how the alarm sounds? Well, we'll be counting down soon. We've got about just about three hours left. I don't know when I'm going to post this, so it'll probably be under three hours. But I was I was kind of looking up on the um, American alert and they had an alert similar to our alert four years ago. And but not everybody received it. And they up till now, they don't know why not everyone received it. They reckon it works on compatible phones. I'm not quite sure whether the phones that it didn't work on were not compatible. Now, they've done some tests on what kind of situations will happen if you turn the phone off. Will you get the alert? Apparently, if it's an iPhone, even if you turn the alert off, when you turn the phone on, the alert could come through. They tried put it in um, airplane air, air mode. And apparently um, the alert still comes through on the iPhone. It doesn't come through on the Android. Um, they turned the phone off and there was no signal that came through. But they didn't say whether or not it came through when you switch the phone back on. And what was the third one? I think the third one was just turning the alerts off. But anyway, there's a lot of different um, ways or people doing videos about this. And we have to really take this seriously because we're not a country where we have floods, really. Um, we're not really a country that's going to have um, earthquakes. So we have to think that this alert is for a serious situation in the future. We don't know how soon or how far away it is, but we have to assume that that is the case and that the government is doing their best to alert us of this. So some people think it's tracking. It's not really tracking because if they want to track you, they track you from the GPS. So it's not about tracking. Some people think, oh, you know, they're going to know my location. Some people think it's a way of getting um, getting through to illegal immigrants or they've got a lot of kind of thoughts about it but I think with what's going on in Russia and Ukraine you cannot just underestimate how serious this could be and we might be called to um, might be called to task on it the, the uh, one thing is is that we are all being alerted of this alert um, and so we've got an option whether or not to switch it on or switch it off. When the real emergency alert comes, we won't have that forewarning. So you wouldn't have your phone off. You're going to get it anyway. So it's not going to make much of a difference if you leave it on. Um, in America, if it's a presidential alert, which is equivalent, I think, to a government alert, you're not, you didn't have the option of switching it off. You'd get a fine. I'm not sure if you get a fine. You get a fine if you imitate the noise of the siren on on any kind of platform. But I'm not sure if you get a fine if you well, you just weren't allowed to opt out anyway. So we haven't got that. We haven't got to that stage here in the UK yet where you opt out. But like I said, you know, if I think turning the alert off, I think that is that is one thing. You can because it shouldn't you shouldn't really turn it off because if there really is an alert, you won't know about it. But switching your phones off is not really going to prove anything. All it's going to do is stop that awful sound from coming through. And you make you feel as though you've got an element of control over it. But in reality, um, your phone's going to be on. So switching it off during this situation is not really going to do much. Um, so if you leave it on, if there is an emergency in the future, then you will be alerted. So if this is just to prevent inconvenience, then that's fine. 
Um, I don't know if the alert does anything else to the phone to make sure that you get future alerts. I don't know. I don't know what how it works. But I would imagine that the same way an alert goes off if there's an emergency today is the same way it'd go off if there's an emergency in the future. Like I said, I think um, in America, um, this is the this alert system came out in nineteen in the nineteen hundreds, um, nineteen thirty four. The president got access to communication during a state of public peril and disaster and national emergency. So since nineteen thirty four, this alert system has been um, been around, I guess. It's just that it hasn't been activated until now. So you know if it's been activated, it's because we're, there's a grave public emergency, there's risk of a terror attack, or there's an invasion. Um, I'm sure the government doesn't want to worry us, so they're not going to tell us why this alert system is um, being put in place. Um, one of, um, in America, um, they tried to, a couple of people tried to claim that um, forcing people to respond to the alert was violating their First and Fourteenth Amendment. I'm not quite sure what those amendment rights are, but I guess it's got to do with privacy or freedom or whatever. But anyway, it was thrown out, it was dismissed, and the courts refused to acknowledge that. Um, so... I couldn't find anything about the disadvantages or advantages about the alert. It's really weird because normally you would have some conspiracy theories about the alert, but there's nothing online about um, the alert, which is really interesting. Um, what else have I got here? iPhone seems to be the only phone that actually um, you'll get the alert on, even if it's switched off. Um, yeah, but I saw a video about somebody telling the deaf um, about the alert. And I'm thinking, how would they hear the alert? Especially if it's a real emergency. I think they're probably hoping that they're with somebody who's going to tell them. And also, also they're saying those with um, hearing devices have to take them out because the siren's going to be deafening and could affect their hearing. So there's a lot of issues that we have to be concerned about and you have to kind of, I guess, use your common sense about. So I think that is where I'm going to stop it now. This is really a, it's really a test um, video because... I'm in another place and um, I'm just checking it out. My face looks better in this one. I don't look so, some of these videos, honestly, the lighting, the cameras, bloody awful. I mean, sometimes I look as though I've been resurrected from the dead. Anyway, that's all for now. I'm just giving this a test.